Hi, my name is Richard. I'm a volunteer with Max Courage, and today I'll be reading an essay on courage from Manahel Ali, taught by Halfa al Jabobi from Sana, Yemen. I was five years old, and I was playing near my mother, who was preparing food in a mud oven. The oven was on fire and very hot, but I was curious to see what was inside the oven. I don't know what happened. I don't remember anything, but I fell into the oven. I cannot forget the pain I had before I lost consciousness. When I woke up, my face was different and my hands were burnt. Although I was rescued quickly, I suffered tremendously. My dad took me immediately to the doctor. The doctor recommended that my hand be amputated. Dad did not agree and tried to find a medication to reduce the pain and minimize the damage. Friends advised my father to go to Saudi Arabia to get medication, and so we did. It was a long medical journey in Saudi Arabia. Every day, I would ask my father to bring me a mirror. I would look at my face to see if it had improved, but there was only minor improvement. I started to accept my new look, especially once the pain of the burns was going away. I felt sad that my look had changed. I remembered my friends and how they would look at me. I was scared that they would make fun of me. We finally went back to Yemen. My look had changed, and I had lost my fingers. I am no longer the same child, and my life has changed forever, but I had to accept my new reality. When I turned seven years old, I asked my father to take me to school. I faced the challenges of how people looked at me and the children making fun of me. I felt that the best answer was to work hard and be successful in school. I did well in school and won first place in my class. In 2015, the war in Yemen started, and my area in Sada was affected by airstrikes. My father decided to move to Sana'a. After we arrived in Sana'a, my dad registered me in a school. I was worried about how the other girls would look at me, especially on the first day. I received a lot of support from my father, my teachers, and classmates who learned about my story. Everybody was curious to know what had happened to me. I am no longer afraid of telling my story. I promised my father I would always be successful in my studies. I plan on going to university and studying cosmetic surgery.